What's going on guys, welcome back to Hippo Supercoach and we're going to be discussing the Thursday night review um, and we'll look at some of the teams as well. So, uh, we've got the teams up now, go through them, yes we may as well. <clears throat> so, the big ones really are um, Oscar Baker's omitted, so people still might have him. Um, other than that, obviously, Cicely and Mitchell are back in. Um, nothing really too crazy. Brisbane, West Coast, quite a few wins. Obviously, Ryan Marriage is debuting, so he's a somewhat decent option, I guess. <clears throat> um, what else? No one really from here. Blake Drury might come in, but probably not. He's on the extended bench. Um, same with Fleet and extended bench. Um... Matt Flynn as well is also extended bench. And then with Carlton, Ed Kerno um, is actually named on the ball. So <clears throat> it seems like that's a pretty obvious tag with Merritt. Not happy about that, but makes sense. I guess Merritt is in really good form. So makes sense to bring in a tagger. I think that'll be a pretty hard tag. So I would personally recommend staying away from Merritt. I know I didn't do a captain vice captain video this week, but I might do one tomorrow. But yeah, stay away from Merritt, I think. <clears throat> Anyway, let's get into the game. So, start off with Sydney. Nothing too relevant here. A couple of guys. So, Lloyd74 kicked that goal just about on the siren. So, helped him a lot. Um, he was on track for a terrible score. But he sort of clutched up in the end. And then Errol Goulden, 63, just wasn't efficient tonight. Um, couldn't get enough of the ball. And roll was a little bit weird. Just wasn't near it <clears throat> at times. Um, that's pretty much it from Sydney. Talk about St Kilda now, so Wangani Malera is balling, friggin' dickhead, why couldn't you have done that when I had you? Um, frustrating as hell, but who cares, I guess. Sinclair 127, really happy with that. Marshall 124, really happy with that as well. Um, Jack Steele 82, I mean, first half was absolutely painful watching him play. Um, second quarter, uh, third quarter was amazing, the fourth quarter he was okay. So, if he can put together a fourth quarter performance, it'd be amazing, but, yeah, it's a frustrating one. 82 is okay, but, yeah, not what we wanted, really. Um, yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it. I can't think of anything else for the St. Kilda game. No, there's nothing else, really. But, yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Just a quick one. Um... <laughs> In terms of my trades, I'm not sure if I want to get rid of Sheasel. I, I sort of plan to get rid of Jack Steele. Um, but I'm planning on getting rid of um, Zeebel instead. So just Zeebel. Basically Zeebel for Brayshaw. I know with Brayshaw he's going to play midfield. His role is not in doubt. Whereas Zeebel's role is in doubt and he's leaking cash. So yeah, I think I'm going to stick with that. Um, I think Sheezel will be my D6 for the rest of the season and then hopefully bring Dcam in somewhat soon. But yeah, they're probably going to be, going to be my trades. Um, I'm glad I didn't go with that Jake Lloyd trade that I tweeted about. Um, that could have been disastrous. But yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Really quick one. Hope everyone had a decent start to the round and I'll um, see you in the next one.